What's up YouTube, it's your boy Yannick. I wanna welcome you back to the Sense and Style channel, the channel where pair sense and style. On this channel, we talk about clothing reviews. And we also talk about various men's lifestyle topics such as style, dating, and fashion. Now, if you're new to the channel, I wanna ask that you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, so that way you know when the next video drops. Without further ado, let's get into what we're gonna talk about today, which is 10 fragrances that pull immense amount of compliments. Let's get into it. Kicking off the list, we have Dior Om EDT. Now Dior Om EDT gets looked over a lot because a lot of the hype is around Dior Om EDP, All right? But the EDT is still really, really, really nice. This fragrance is woody, it's musky, and it does have ISO E super in it. So you know whoever smells this, they're gonna be wanting to smell more of you. Dio Om EDT is a warm, spicy, inviting scent with some spice to go along with its profile. Dio Om EDT is a scent that I think women can get away with wearing as well, because to me, it sways unisex. Way more masculine than it does feminine, but I think a woman can wear this as well. Second on the list, we have Missoni Pore Ohm. Sandalwood, grapefruit, lavender, musk, lemon, and ginger are some of the main notes that gives this its scent profile. Some say this smells like Blue de Chanel, and I agree with them, except you get a little bit more lavender and a little bit more something with this fragrance over Blue de Chanel. To me, it does project a little bit more and it does perform a little bit better than Blue de Chanel. The musk and sandalwood in Missoni Port Ohm does wonders in the air, guys. It does, does wonders. And Missoni Port Ohm is a Swiss army knife of a fragrance. You can wear this thing with a white tee or you can dress it up in a tux and you can wear it every day as a signature scent because at around 50 bucks right here you can wear it every day next up on the list we have bentley for men black edition violet paprius jasmine cedar moss and incense whenever I smell bentley for men black edition fellas it just reminds me of a running stream of cool water, green grass growing around it with purple violet flowers. That's what I get when I smell this right here. Very, very nice, calming, peaceful scent. It's fresh, it's inviting, and the ladies love it. Now, if you're familiar with Bentley for Men Intense, this thing does the complete opposite of what Bentley for Men Intense does. All right, Bentley for Men Intense is boozy. This is fresh, all right? And it's a safe fragrance. So if you think Bentley for Men Intense is a little bit more daring, a little bit more difficult to wear for you, this won't be a difficult scent to wear. It's actually really, really, really nice. Very safe. Fourth on the list we have Coach for Men, EDT. Yes, guys, this is a super, super awesome freshie. Very, very, very mass appealing. And it just does wonders in the air. A little bit sweet, very fresh, very awesome. You get pear, ambergris, cardamom, and vetiver. And this is touted as a woody scent, but I get more of an aquatic vibe from this. And that comes from the ambergris that's in this. If many of you all don't know what ambergris is, it is whale's vomit that fermented and hardened over time. And it gives off a really, really, really nice scent. I know it's kind of hard, right? To kind of compare whale vomit giving off a nice scent. What is that? Well, this, does a really, really great job 
at being mass appealing and getting compliments. If you never got your nose on this, I want you to picture a very sophisticated gentleman in a tux. Picture James Bond. He's the kind of guy that'll be wearing this right here. Coming in at number five on the list, we have Mont Blanc Explorer. What can I say about this fragrance, fellas? It's just a greener, more toned down version of Creed Aventus. It is not as fruity, but it's definitely greener and softer than Creed Aventus. Doesn't project like Creed Aventus, doesn't last as long as Creed Aventus, but it is really, really, really nice. And it does perform well, not great, well. This thing is awesome and it is a Swiss army knife of a fragrance. You can wear this thing from white tea to the office to a black tie event and not be out of place. But it is definitely a compliment monster in Mont Blanc Explorer. Next up on the list we have Bulgari Man in Black. Man, this fragrance is awesome. Every time I smell this fragrance, I'm like a kid in a candy store. Just happy whenever I wear this right here. My wife compliments me every time I wear this fragrance. Other people compliment me every time I wear this fragrance. And it's just a compliment pulling monster. It's boozy, it's spicy, it's warm, it's a little sweet, it's a little fresh. It's, you, just gotta, you just get a little bit of everything in Bulgari Man in Black. It has rum, leather, tobacco, tonka, and guyac wood. And this all gives it a very, very, very seductive profile. This fragrance right here was made for a ladies man. Next up on the list we have Armani Code Profumo. Just like Bulgari Man in Black, this fragrance is another seductive masterpiece. To me, it leans more playful than business, All right? So if you do plan on wearing this to the office, to me, it's not the most appropriate place to wear this scent right here, but fragrances are fragrances and you can wear it anytime and anywhere you feel like it, all right? But to me, if I have to go into the office, I won't be wearing this right here. Well, not, well, not completely won't be wearing it, but let's just say I'm not gonna be reaching for it every day, all right? If I'm going to the bar, gonna go hang out with the boys, after hours, happy hour, I'm gonna reach for this right here. Cardamom, green apple, tonka, amber, leather are a few of the notes that are in this right here. And just from hearing those notes, you know that this is a playful, seductive fragrance. And the Centrio on Armani Code Profumo, it is awesome. The sillage is just awesome here, guys. Up next on the list at number eight, we have Prada Luna Rosa Black. Warm, dark, seductive, powdery, and the ladies, they just love Prada Luna Rosa Black, guys. Whenever I wear Prada Luna Rosa Black, I always get the question, what are you wearing? I just always get that question. Coumarin, amber, musk, patchouli, angelica, and bergamot is what makes this what it is. Whenever I'm sitting at the bar and I'm wearing this, people are just always intrigued as to what I'm wearing. Number nine on the list, we have Aqua Digio Profumo. Aqua Digio Profumo is this boss CEO type of scent. But it still does have that little bit of seductivity behind it. And this thing does wonders in the air. Its sillage is terrific. This freshie, you can wear all year round because it is strong enough to pull off in the cold. And like I said, it is a freshie. It sways more green to me rather than what you all come to know from the original Aqua Di Gio, which is aquatic. I'd say when wearing Aqua Di Gio Profumo, keep this to two to three sprays. This thing is strong, guys. Coming in at number nine on the list of fragrances that pull immense compliment is Dior Sauvage. EDP 
EDT, Parfum, doesn't really matter. They all share the same scent profile and this thing does awesome in garnering compliments, fellas. Just an awesome scent. Some people may be like, oh, well, it's played out, it's common, da 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 All right, well, we're talking about what pulls compliments, all right? Unless you go into a room with a bunch of frag heads, all right? Which is not what we're talking about. We're talking about getting compliments from the everyday people, all right? And this appeals to regular everyday people who isn't in the frag com. So that's why we will always put this on the list of mass appealing fragrances that pull immense compliments. This is one of the best selling fragrances on the market. So if you buy this, you can smell like everybody else. All right, whether you buy the EDP, the Parfum or the EDT, you're gonna smell like everybody else, right? But that's what you get from one of the best sellers in the world of fragrances. All right, guys, there you have it. That's my 10 picks of sign of fragrances that pull immense compliments. Now, if you like the video, found it informative, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, All right? Leave me a comment, share the video, and subscribe. Helps the channel out a lot, all right? Stay safe, take it easy. Talk to you later, guys. Peace.